If you're not dead yet, you have no excuse to quit on today's ThinkShare. Hello and welcome to the ThinkShare. My name is Zach Mir, brings you the thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to that doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I bet you subscribe. I've been reading Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss, and I'm on the Kyle Maynard chapter. He's an accomplished wrestler, an accomplished climber, and does not have any of his four limbs full. He was asked if he were to have a billboard anywhere, what would it be? And he said he would use the quote, not dead, can't quit. He says a few people said it was a borderline child abuse that my parents had me continue wrestling after I lost my first 35 matches. Less than a decade later, those same people were saying I was unfairly advantaged. He's obviously someone that is all about being persistent, not quitting. I think Kyle really thrives on having obstacles in his way and having the path through them shape who he ends up becoming. The question is, who would you be if you were allowing all these obstacles that get in your way to be a reason for getting better, getting bigger, becoming someone extraordinary that's gonna keep powering on through and becoming a greater, better person because of it. If he is saying that if you're not dead, you can't quit, what dreams would you consider coming back to? I think there are an insane amount of people out there that have given up on dreams because of too much rejection. If a man with no arms and no full leg can lose 35 wrestling matches and keep going and then go on to become a champion, if there are people out there that have gone through things worse than you, which there are, if you are watching YouTube right now, that means you have the resources that most people in the world do not have. You have internet access. Not everyone has those things. You have to be pretty well off to have those things. So consider there are always people in the world that are going through tougher stuff than you. You cannot let any of these things that you have as an excuse to give up on things. Now, I know this is coming from me who I have a ton of advantages. I'm very aware of that. At the same time, I've had, I've had moments of being just a horrible human being saying, I haven't overcome anything, so how am I supposed to succeed when I've been given all these advantages? Someone was making fun of Jaden Smith the other day saying he shouldn't be famous because he has all these advantages. But think about all the people that don't take all these advantages and actually use them to fulfill their potential. I know that this is coming from me, but I want you to consider from all the people out there that do not start with all these advantages, how can you take their obstacles and what they've gone through to accomplish what they wanted and allow that to inspire you to not give up on something simply because you're not dead yet. Life is too valuable to allow yourself to give up on the things you care about. Stop pretending like you're allowed to give up. You're not dead yet. Hey, if you're still watching right now, I wanna see if we can get 10 likes on this video. In the comments, let me know what are some of the things you've given up on that you're actually considering maybe no longer giving up on and giving it a shot back because you realize it's just been some rejection getting in your head. If you enjoyed this and you want more, I invite you to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications every day. I come out with something new. Thank you for watching. Stay weird. Later.